Welcome to YouTube Informer. Uric acid is a waste product found in blood. It's created when the body breaks down chemicals, called purines. Most uric acid dissolves in the blood, passes through the kidneys, and leaves the body in urine. Food and drinks high in purines also increase the level of uric acid. These include seafood, especially salmon, shrimp, lobster, and sardines. Red meat. Sardines. Dried beans. Organ meats like liver. Normally, your body filters out uric acid through your kidneys and in urine. If you consume too much purine in your diet, or if your body can't get rid of this byproduct fast enough, uric acid can build up in your blood. If too much uric acid stays in the body, a condition called hyperuricemia will occur. It can cause crystals of uric acid or urate to form. These crystals can settle in the joints and cause gout, a form of arthritis that can be very painful. They can also settle in the kidneys and form kidney stones. If untreated, high uric acid levels may eventually lead to permanent bone, joint and tissue damage, kidney disease and heart disease. Research has also shown a link between high uric acid levels and type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and fatty liver disease. How are high uric acid and gout diagnosed? A blood sample is taken and tested to determine the level of uric acid. If you pass a kidney stone or have one surgically removed, the stone itself might be tested to see if it is a uric acid stone or a stone of a different type. Finding an elevated blood uric acid level is not the same as diagnosing gouty arthritis. To diagnose definite gout, the uric acid crystals must be seen in the fluid taken from a swollen joint or seen by special imaging of the bones and joints, ultrasound, x-ray, or CAT scan. How is high uric level treated? If you're having a gout attack, medication can be used to reduce the inflammation, pain and swelling. You should drink plenty of fluids, but avoid alcohol and sweet soft drinks. Ice and elevation are helpful. Kidney stones may eventually pass out of the body in urine. Drinking more fluid is important. Try to drink at least 64 ounces daily, 8 glasses, at 8 ounces apiece. Water is best. Your doctor may also prescribe medications that help stones pass by relaxing the muscles in the ureter, the duct that urine passes through to get from the kidney to the bladder. If the stone is too large to pass, blocks the flow of urine or causes an infection, it might be necessary to surgically remove the stone. How you can lower uric acid levels in your body naturally. Limit purine-rich foods. You can limit the source of uric acid in your diet. Purine-rich foods include some types of meat, seafood, and vegetables. All of these foods give off uric acid when they're digested. Avoid or reduce your intake of foods such as organ meats, pork, turkey, fish and shellfish, scallops, mutton, veal, cauliflower, green peas, dried beans, mushrooms. Find tips for following a low purine diet here. Avoid sugar, sugary foods. While uric acid is usually linked to protein rich foods, recent studies show that sugar may also be a potential cause. Added sugars to food include table sugar, corn syrup, and high fructose corn syrup, among others. The sugar fructose is a main type of simple sugar in processed and refined foods. Researchers have found that this type of sugar in particular could lead to high levels of uric acid. Check food labels for added sugars. Eating more whole foods and fewer refined packaged foods can also help you cut out sugars while allowing you to intake a more wholesome diet. Sugary beverages. Sugary drinks, soda, and even fresh fruit juices are concentrated with fructose and glucose-containing sugar. 
You'll also want to keep in mind that high fructose corn syrup contains a mix of fructose and glucose, usually with 55% fructose and 42% glucose. Replace sugary drinks with filtered water and fiber-rich smoothies. Avoid alcohol. Drinking alcohol and beer are also high in purines, can make you more dehydrated. It can also trigger high uric acid levels. This happens because your kidneys must first filter out products that occur in the blood due to alcohol instead of uric acid and other wastes. Lose weight. Along with your diet, extra pounds can raise uric acid levels. Fat cells make more uric acid than muscle cells. Additionally, carrying extra pounds makes it harder for your kidneys to filter out uric acid. Losing weight too quickly can also affect levels. Add more fiber to your diet. Eating more fiber will help your body get rid of uric acid. Fiber can also help balance your blood sugar and insulin levels. It also tends to increase satiety, helping to lower the risk of overeating. Add at least 5 to 10 grams of soluble fiber a day with whole foods such as fresh, frozen, or dried fruits. Fresh or frozen vegetables. Oats and nuts. Diet, exercise, and other healthy lifestyle changes can improve gout and other illnesses caused by high uric acid levels. However, they can't always replace necessary medical treatment. Take all prescribed medications as directed by your doctor. The right combination of diet, exercise, and medications can help keep symptoms at bay. It may seem as if there are a lot of foods you need to avoid to help lower uric acid levels. The best way to limit these foods is by making a weekly meal plan. You can also join an online support groups, Facebook groups, and pages dealing with uric acid diseases and gout problems. There you can meet people with uric acid-related illnesses, and for more ideas on how to prepare the best meals for you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.